Welcome back, and this is question subtree of another tree. And so here we're actually given a tree here and in another as our input. We just want to check whether the second tree is in fact a subtree of our main first tree. And so in this case, as we're traversing down this tree, we're just checking if the first nodes match. So does three equal four? No, so they're not a subtree. And then say we go left and we take this subtree of our main tree. We see, okay, these are equal to each other. One and one are equal to each other. And then, oh, it's null. These are both null here. So we recurse back up and then we check for two. And they're equal to each other and then they both stop there. So it is in fact a subtree of this tree. So to do this, what we're gonna do is first in our base case, just check if our root is null. And if so, we wanna return false. And so that's because in our kind of simplest case, at least, if this entire tree is null, then naturally you can't have a subtree of a null tree. But then also this handles the case where, okay, if we traverse this entire tree and we're now at this node here, which is null, then in fact, okay, we know that we didn't find any instance where this entire tree was found in this tree, so we want to return false. So the next thing that we were going to do is we'll actually be using another method called isSame that we're going to create. And we'll be passing the root and the subroot here. And so this will be checking. And here we're actually going to be kind of recursing on this subtree here method, where as we're navigating down this tree, we're going to be kind of taking clippings or portions of this tree into a subtree. So, so we go left here, then we take this entire subtree. We went left again and this kind of continued on and we would take that entire subtree. And so we're just kind of checking whether any of the subtrees of our main tree are identical to this subtree. So if this evaluates a true, we want to return true in this case. But we don't want to return false if this evaluates a true or false because, well, we're only, we want to consider every single subtree of this main tree. So next we want to be recursing on this method here from left to right. And so we'll do root.left. And then we just pass the subtree. And so we're not going left on the subtree because we want to compare each subtree of this tree to this subtree. So you just keep that the same. And then we want to go right as well. So this is a, a pre-ordered traverse where we go come from middle, left, then right. And so next, and so if that makes sense, so the reason why we want an or is because, well, if any of these subtrees of this main tree returns true, we want to return true. So now we're going to do the is same method. So it's going to have the same method signature. We'll give that its name. Great. And so first we'll want to check if the root is null and the subroot's null. And if so, we want to return true. And so that's because, well, if we've completely navigated these two subtrees and we reach past the leaf node and we check, okay, they cut off at this point, then we know we've traversed that entirety of the side and it's gone to a point where, okay, all of these are equal to each other and just traverse here, then we want to return true. And then also, if this is null, then we know that, you know, null and null are the same. So, yeah. So this also handles the case where we want to check, you know, where every spot where this is empty, like this one doesn't have a right node, we want to make sure that this one doesn't have a right node. And so we'll do a similar thing here, but where this one, if if the left one's null, but the right one, but the if the subtree of our main tree is null, or one of the nodes here, but the node on the subtree that we're given isn't null, then we want to return false. And so that's just saying we have a node in this subtree here that isn't null 
but in this one it is null. So they, they should be symmetrical, they should be identical. And so next we just want to make sure that the values are also equal to each other. And so the value of the root should be equal to the value of the subroot. So if they don't, we want to return false. And so finally, we just want to be recursing on this method here. And so we'll do a similar thing to what we did before. But of course, be calling our is same method. And in this case, unlike before, we do actually want to be going from left to right on our subtree that we're given because we're just checking each node of the subtree now if they're identical. While before, we're thinking of it in a broader sense of, okay, is we're taking snippets of the main tree to get the subtrees of it. And so same thing here for right. And then unlike before, we want to make sure that it's completely identical, where here we were just checking, okay, is any of the subtrees of our main tree equal to the subtree that were passed? But in this case, we want to check that the entirety of the subtree of our main tree is equal to the past subtree. So let's go ahead and run this. And true. And success. So yeah, so I, I hope that helped. And I, I think you can kind of learn a lot of different uh, tricks from this. It's a, it's a really good, easy question for graph traversals. So yeah, I hope that helped and good luck with the rest of your algorithms. Thank you.